How to start a speech? A bad start can really ruin your chances of connecting with the audience and getting your messages across. Let's see first how usually a presentation starts. So as you can see, the speaker stands on the side, explaining towards the screen, no eye contact at all with the audience. The slide is full of text. Hi, my name is Peter. Today I'm going to talk to you about this and that. Uh, the agenda is, is this. Now, what does it signal to us? Actually, by being a slideshow commentator, standing on the side, you, you send the message that the speaker is, is not very important. The slides are important. And I have to tell you, I strongly believe that the speaker is very important. Because there is a saying, people buy people first. Products, brand names, ideas come only second. So if we are talking to an audience, they have to connect first to us. And only after we have this connection with the audience, only after that can we impart our knowledge, not the other way around. That's the usual mistake. Somebody starts talking about their knowledge, but the connection is not established yet. Basically, the connection is all about trust. The audience has to trust you that, you know, you say something to them which is relevant, you are an expert, Otherwise, if trust is not established, you know, you can give the best information in the world, they are going to sit like this, they are not going to be open to your presentation. So the big question, how can you establish that connection in the beginning, right away? Three ways, and I'm gonna use as an illustration my three favorite TED videos. Way number one, tell a story. Not just any story a story which relates to your subject, or a story about yourself, which makes it easy for the audience to, to relate to you. A story which tells what your connection is to the, to the subject. Let's watch how Susan Cain started her speech, The Power of Introverts. When I was nine years old, I went off to summer camp for the first time, and my mother packed me a suitcase full of books, which to me seemed like a perfectly natural thing to do, because in my family, reading was the primary group activity. And this might sound antisocial to you, but for us, it was really just a different way of being social. You had the animal warmth of your family sitting right next to you, but you were also free to go roaming around the adventure land inside your own mind. And I had this idea that camp was going to be just like this, but better. And then she went on to argue that introverts bring extraordinary talents and abilities to the world and should be encouraged and celebrated. But first, she, she, didn't, she didn't start with that. She started with her personal description, her personal feelings. Tip number two, how to start a speech, ask questions. Ask questions that lead into your topic and pique the interest of your audience. I call on Mr. Simon Sinek now, and let's watch his very famous TED Talk. How do you explain when things don't go as we assume? Or better, how do you explain when others are able to achieve things that seem to defy all of the assumptions? For example, why is Apple so innovative? Year after year after year after year, they're more innovative than all their competition. And yet, they're just a computer company. They're just like everyone else. They have the same access to the same talent, the same agencies, the same consultants, the same media. Then why is it that they seem to have something different? Why is it that Martin Luther King led the civil rights movement? He wasn't the only man who suffered in a pre-civil rights America. And he certainly wasn't the only great orator of the day. Why him? Are you interested now what he has to say? Right? Because he piqued your interest with those, with those questions in the beginning. And finally, tip number three, react. It's especially good if you are at a conference where there are lots of speakers, uh, one after the other, and you can react to a speaker before you. You can react to what happened in the break. And basically, by reacting, 
you signal to the audience that this is not a canned speech that you prepared at home and you're just delivering here. It's brand new, it's fresh, you are present, and audiences love that. To demonstrate that, Mr. Ken Robinson, actually Sir Ken Robinson, with the most watched TED video of all time, over 50 million views. Let's see how he started. There have been three themes, haven't there, running through the conference, um, which are re relevant to what I want to talk about. One is the extraordinary evidence of human creativity in all of the presentations that we've had and, and in all the people here. Uh, just the, ver you know, the variety of it and the range of it. Uh, the second is that it's put us in a place where we have no idea what's going to happen uh, in terms of the future. No idea how this may play out. Uh, I have an interest in education. Uh, actually, what I find is everybody has an interest in education. Don't you? I find this very interesting. If you're at a dinner party and you say you work in education, actually, you're not often at dinner parties, frankly. <laughs> if, uh, <coughs> sort of thing. I highly recommend you to watch all these three TED videos. The links will be in the description. So next time you have a presentation, try one of these ways to get started and let me know how it went in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and good luck with the presentations. Mm -hmm.